Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Radku Tarot and this is going to be Sagittarius Sun, Sagittarius Moon and Sagittarius Rising Weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for November 5th to November uh, 11th, 2018 And uh, while I'm shuffling the cards, I want to remind you once again guys that this will be just a, a general reading for Sagittarius Star Sign and it is not your personal reading Therefore, I, I will try here to do my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread, but it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Now, if you want me to do that for you, well, that will be a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, please check out my website, uh, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. So, um... Uh, we are going first to the tarot card spread which will contain four cards just like this and uh, the very first card that we do have is going to reflect the topic for your Sagittarius this week and this is going to be the hangman so for what it seems uh, <clears throat> this will be a week in, much, uh, in which uh, much action it is rather highly unadvisable now the hangman it is very passive car passive in the sense that regardless of uh, the predicaments the issue and generally the undertakings which are kind of uh, appearing themselves as something tough to you uh, cannot be really forced through as a matter of fact the hangman here points that uh, the best thing you can do throughout the week it is just wait it out kind of do nothing because uh, uh, this card usually comes around when uh, um, the circumstances are no longer depending on us and no matter how frantic we are and how much we try to alter them and to basically um, obtain control over the situation we can't because someone else or something else needs to do their job or simply needs its time I, a typical example of that is uh, for example in your career when you are dealing with a uh, specific project and you are working in team you do your job there but someone from your team is falling behind and um, simply they are behind schedule so no matter how much you try you know to be uh, perfect should they say in this situation or no much how uh, or no matter how much you try to push the project forward until that person does not do their job um, advance forward is rather impossible therefore the only thing that you can do right now is just wait because the hangman are one of those issues one of those delays and one of those predicaments which are resolving themselves on their own accord and simply you just have to wait it out that that is the whole thing and on a more profound level this card points that throughout that waiting of yours it is likely that you are to obtain a, a different vision upon the world uh, but most likely you are to discover new ways to exert yourself, new ways of earning money, you know, new ways how you can contribute into your relationship, etc, etc. In general, this card points that you are to see a lot of varieties in your, uh, in your life through that uh, peaceful time in which you have to just simply wait. The uh, core of the situation for it, this is to be the Eight of Cups. So recently, this card points that recently uh, something have not developed the way it has expected. It could be a, a again a, an issue or predicament that no one see coming, and uh, as soon as it manifests itself, as soon as it materialized, then the whole the, the whole process of either one's relationship or of either one's career needed to be rather uh, retrospected. It needs to be rethought. It needs to be uh, created. A a, a different strategy here and that's why at that particular week for you Sagittarius is advance forward is rather um, unadvisable I'm not saying impossible I'm saying unadvisable because the hangman points that the majority of your efforts are to prove utterly futile therefore it will be best here for you uh, in instead of being frantic with your performance than to be patient and waiting until the change actually happens so what the eight of cups here points 
points that uh, as a core it points that this week is to be about analyzing the best possible option of action or the best possible way of action you know the best possible option available and until those things happen through you know obtaining a different perspective here a different vision upon the situation uh, <clears throat> the rest is going to be simply a, a waste of time waste of resources and waste of effort on to, uh, efforts on top of that however the ace of uh, the eight of cups is telling us also one more additional thing thing here that regardless of how misfortunate the situation turned itself to be in the recent past to these days a new better perspective is to emerge itself very very soon but again it is all comes to the ability of us to be patient and to have those clamorous belief for that happy unfoldment exhilarated unfoldment of the circumstances as they are to solve themselves on their own accord the uh, challenges which are to cause predicaments for you Sagittarius says this is the Emperor card and no wonder that we do have this card here as Emperor is about control is about exerting power is about <clears throat> having everything within your grasp and this is everything that you will not have you know I mean you simply need to wait you will not have a control upon the situation not your situation but the situation in general you will not have a, uh, the careful reconnoitering upon what is following afterwards in general you will be left into a certain state of limbo and what the challenge is to be here with the Emperor card is to plan guys the challenge is to be to set to sort out your time to sort out your um, <clears throat> your um, um, resources as well you know to sort out your efforts as well kind of like prioritize etc etc the Emperor here points again that um, you know uh, as I said things will not depend entirely on you and that will cause a, a severe issue for you because probably you are not used to that your uh, your things to depend on someone else or your um, your prospect and uh, the advance of your undertakings to be dependable upon someone else important to be said about the Emperor is also um, regarding how can I place it regarding responsibilities? Alright, so it will be difficult for you not to take responsibilities. Alright, so let's let give you that kind of a uh, uh, an example. Your boss approaches you and they ask you, um, you know, they they kind of ask you is something is to be done in this specific project that you are in a state of waiting for a co-worker of yours to to do their job. And because this is your boss, you may say, yeah, sure, boss, whatever you say. But again, it does not depend on you, all right? I mean, you have to wait someone, someone else to do their job before you actually... Uh, you are in a before you actually are in a position to uh, to make that promise uh, true, to make that promise happen, and that's why or to fulfill that responsibility that's why you Sagittarius should restrain yourself of taking on additional responsibility in this uh, in this week no matter how tough that seem it is uh, <clears throat> on your plaza as again things are not depending on you and at the end of the uh, at the end of the day you may find yourself rendered incapable to fulfill those promises that you have gave and those responsibilities that you have taken on your plaza <clears throat> at all and the last card that we do have guys this is the best possible approach um toward the situation here we do have uh, the uh, ten of cups and in that specific case the ten of cups speaks for a withdrawal the ten of cups speaks to count your blessings all right so withdraw yourself from this situation just just stop thinking about it at all and uh, kind of like focus upon those things which you actually have control upon which actually you uh, have them stabilized and they work entirely in your favor for example if your career is going um, 
uh, is, uh, is proving itself rather unstable at this very moment and unpredictable. Focus yourself upon your relationship or upon your friendships and vice versa. Very important here with the, with the Ten of Cups is to find a, a place where you are feeling very, very secure, like uh, in the company of, again, your friend, in the company of a co-worker of yours, or in a company of family members, in a company of uh, suitor as well, etc., etc. Just find yourself a state or a place, I'm sure that you do have one where you feel most secure at, where you don't have uh, any prerequisite to think about these delays here happening or these blockages here happening in either field of your life. Typical situation as well is when you do have problems in your relationship to focus entirely upon your career because those issues that you are to have either relationship wise or career wise, again repeating, they are to solve themselves on their own accord and no matter how much you try here, no matter how much responsibilities which is highly unadvisable to take, you take, you know, uh, this will not better your situation even the slightest only the time passing is to be the one uh, the thing which is going to mend your positions so that being said Sagittarius this was your uh, weekly tarot, tarot reading now let's see what the Lenormand cards has to say for you now they are to show a uh, event which uh, event happening excuse me which is uh, which you either should look forward to or try to avoid so cutting the first card this is to be the sun the sun is uh, standing for a, a big success big amounts of luck all right uh, and grand achievements then we do have the anchor the anchor stands for uh, longevity it stands for stability it stands as well for hope and at the end we do have the whip and the broom which stands for tre not treachery but retribution it stands for rangos it stands for uh, competition and in generally it stands for scandals as well so i think that a, a success of yours or something stable which is very successful of yours is to be challenged is to be disputed is to be argue it over and this is exactly here what is to cause the issues what is to cause the delays and what will require from you to obtain that different perspective that different vision all right of how things should advance on forward which is to provoke you to change your strategy to adopt a new one and meanwhile why don't you start spending more time in the in the framework of what makes you happy uh, with uh, as I said again friends family members etc etc in general faithful companions which are making you feel like uh, you know the problems of the world is just passing by leaving you uh, un unaffected so that being said Sagittarius uh, this was your weekly tarot and Lenormand reading for November 5th to November 11th 2018 Again, uh, I want to remind you once again, guys, that this is just a general reading for Sagittarius, a star sign, and it is not your personal reading. Therefore, I did here my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread, but at the end, it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Now, if you want me to do that for you, well, that is a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, please check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. Rat signing out now. See you next time. Bye.